Hello and welcome to an Eyewitness News Special. It's day five of the ANC's 55th National Conference. We've been camped here at Nazareth where we're watching the governing party as it changes guard in terms of leadership and elects new leaders and relooks at its policies and passes resolutions at the end of the day. We are also speaking to different leaders to find out what they make of this conference, what's come out thus far. As, we, as it stands, I understand that delegates are voting for the 80 members who make up that National Executive Committee. Remember I said that NEC oversees the party in between the five-year gaps of a conference. I am also speaking to different leaders. Joining me at the moment is Stan Matabata, who's the provincial chairperson of the ANC in Limpopo. He's been part and parcel of the conversations that have been happening around this conference quite a bit. Stan, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, and uh, good morning to your viewers. Thank you. Let's first start with your sense of the outcomes thus far. There was a top seven that's been elected. How do you feel about that top seven? What do you think that top seven will do and what does it mean for the party and ultimately the party's role as a governing party in the country? No, I, I, I feel very good. I feel very good that uh, at least at, at, uh, at long last the ANC is the winner here. You've got uh, seven tried and tested leaders of the African National Congress. All of them, starting from Comrade Cyril Ramaphosa, they've got history, they're, 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 um, they're, their background is, they've got impeccable credentials, you know, up till the, the youngest amongst all of them, Maruping Ramaphosa. They, they, you, you can talk a lot about them, about the ANC. So, so I think the ANC ultimately is a winner, uh, and I'm happy about that, I hope they are going to unite the African National Congress. I hope at the end of the day, they will be in the position to can uh, um, marshal the program of unity and renewal of the African National Congress so that we can be a very potent weapon or uh, instrument of the people of South Africa, which will bring change to the lives of the people in South Africa. You've been painted as a persona non grata by your own province. It seems <laughs> to people you have supposedly misled your province. A lot of people, a lot of anger has been directed <laughs> towards you, with people saying at the last minute, mm. you tried to influence the province away from mm. supporting Cyril Ramaphosa. And the irony for me is you're the first leader to come out at the beginning of the year throwing support towards mm. Ramaphosa at the January 8th celebrations that took place in Limpopo. What actually happened? You know what? I think uh, there the, the, the shouldn't be any doubts about uh, our views as a province and my views as a person. Uh, personally, I like Comrade Serre, and I respect him as a leader. Um, but now, remember, we as a province, we had a mandate uh, from our branches to come and present six names to this conference. Number one being that of Comrade Cyril Ramaphosa. Uh, to Paul Mashatile, uh, followed by Stan Matabata's chairperson, and Mdumisenin uh, Tule's uh, secretary, Nomvula's deputy secretary, and uh, Bejan Chauk as, as, as treasurer general. Six names from the branches of the ANC. Uh, that was our mandate that we carried. Then, what happened? When we went to the campaign uh, coordinators, you know, those who were cam uh, campaign campaigning for President Ramaphosa. We said, because we are sharing the same goal, all of us want unity and renewal of the ANC. All of us support President Ramaphosa. Why don't we also get some of our uh, candidates accommodated on, your, on, 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 on what you normally refer to as leads, as now I would call it a list of preferences. Why don't? Why can't you at least accommodate us there? Welcome and we, we stand on or, the lineup of the or or, or a Paul Mashatile and Ernon Vula or well, you you see that mm -hmm. and all of them were not there on their sleep and we negotiated and negotiated until the last the eleventh hour and we were rejected. When I say they did not agree with us, I, I will be saying the least. We were totally rejected. I accepted. I, I felt that. Yes. I know that the core around Ramaphosa mm. had absolutely rejected any of those other names. Yeah. But that doesn't explain how you, given a mandate by your province, by your branches, mm. are then seen at a caucus for Zolim Kize at the night of voting. What kind of message do you then send? Because that to me communicates that you put Stan Matabata mm. ahead of the branches that elected you 
as their chair and the role that you have to represent their views and what they want? No, no. Remember, the branches of the ANC in Limpopo did not just nominate one person. They nominated six people, and five of whom were not there in this uh, list of references. I accept that. So, 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 so what, what, what I'm trying to, to say is that I did, I did not uh, see uh, out of the, the mandate of the people of Limpopo Figile Mbalula, Gwete Mantashe. I did not see them. They were not there. I did not say, see uh, Oscar Mabuya. He was not there. So supporting them also would be as if I'm, 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 I'm rejecting. Or I'm, I'm selling out the mandate of the, the, the but branch. But you sold of out the mandate. That's what no. they argue with you. No, but... You sold out the mandate because even if you make an argument that they wanted to have six people, yeah. at the core of it, hmm. they were looking at the leadership, right? They wanted you to emerge as chairperson. They wanted Cyril Ramaphosa to emerge. While the core hmm. around Ramaphosa rejects hmm. all of you, you then take a decision, you and your deputy mm -hmm. take decisions to start telling <laughs> your own province what to do. I, I, and then you get rejected that, by your own province. Which no, you no, with no, no, that, that, that is not the case. I was not rejected by, by my province. Are they not angry? No, no, some, some individual. Are they not calling for provincial general? No, 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 no. Some, some, some people will do that, like all, all the time. I mean, let, let's, 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 let's understand each other here. Yeah, please. Starting from our provincial general council itself, it were not all unanimous. It's just that the majority wanted this. Mm. And you'll always have those pockets, those few people who would be, who would feel that angry, less as you say, that they're, they're angry. But if you look at it rationally, can you, can you really say, I'm going to support only one person and reject five? Based on, the mandate has never been that you prioritize one amongst the six. The mandate has never been that. It's the it's mandate it's has, has, has always been six. These six names we want to you to go and 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 and, 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 and because I'm still not convinced by your argument. Uh, Did you consult the branches and say they are rejecting us as a collective? Here's a plan B. Did you do that? We were on the yes, we did. Well, 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 well what I'm trying to say is that uh, throughout uh, SSS members of the PEC, we discussed this matter that we are negotiating with these comrades. We are, we are, they are still rejecting us, but we feel like they will change their minds with, as, as time goes on. So we'll, we are, will continue negotiating with them, you know. They never did, and up till the 11th hour. And by that time, you uh, objectively did not any longer have a chance of going to negotiate with the branches again, you know, we, we, to, to report to the branches again. Hence. I said, because remember, I was not leading the delegation that this time, you know. Uh, the deputy chairperson was leading the delegation because I was com a conflicted uh, party. I can't, I couldn't have led, uh, yeah, I, I was inter an interested party. I couldn't lead the delegation. So the deputy chairperson, after this, uh, we have reached this stalemate. He, she, convinced, she, she convinced the, the, the branches, the delegates of Limpopo and try to communicate this matter. Of course, there were wranglings here and there. There were those who said, no, no, we will, we will not agree with this. Those who said, and I said, when I met with them, you know, as the PEC now, because I immediately, after that, after seeing that there are voices, strong voices of dissent, I convened the PEC here, you know, said, comrades, we are leaders here. Let's take a decision. What is it that we are going to do here? But because I want us to take you to take the, this decision and and unfettered, let me let me be, let me be excused from this meeting so that you can discuss Is in that this when meeting. when you went to Zuling Kizes Caucus? No, 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 no. I did not went, go to anyone that time. I did not go to anyone. Oh, I was sitting. Yes, yeah, no? before that. Yeah, I, I, I was seated there and waited for them to discuss and give me a, a, a feedback. When when they came and gave me a feedback, they told me that they could not agree. I said, now, if you could not agree, because it was the chairperson and the, uh, the deputy chairperson and the secretary mm. reporting to me, said, if you could not agree, comrades, it means what? We must lead. We are, we are leaders. We must lead. So, so, so as individual leaders, let's make objective view. Let's, let's try to salvage whatever we can salvage. Either we salvage the five uh, at the expense of one, or we, we salvage one at the, as, 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 at the expense of five. Whatever way 
I, what we shall have uh, changed the mandate of the branches of the ANC. Did this pitch you against the secretary, Ruben Matate, no. seemingly is the person that a lot of Ramaphosa supporters say protected Limpopo, held the line against what they felt were rogue leaders in you and your deputy? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> You know there are a lot of things that are, are happening behind the scenes, Absolutely. which 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 which, which ordinary, ordinary members of the ANC may not understand. That is why, at the end of the day, I convened regional leaders. You know, after every so after, after the, the PC failed, you did go to regional leaders. Yeah, I convened regional leaders after uh, this after is all the election. The eleventh hour. Uh, yeah, yeah, yes. In yeah. fact, in fact, uh, when I convened the regional leaders, it was after the top seven was elected. I convinced, well, the yeah, yes, I, I, myself and the provincial secretary, we convinced the regional uh, secretaries and, and, and regional uh, chairpersons, and we explained everything to them. We were very frank and open to them, and say this is the situation we found ourselves. It, we had to take this, these very difficult decisions because n I, either or, you know, whatever way you take. You know, you are you were in one way or another going to get dissent from either either of the the, the oh, so you took a decision understanding that regardless there'll be severe consequences from your own province. Absolutely. Do you absolutely. think this will cost Florence Ratzelani? Because part of the reason why you needed to go up mm. is that here's a woman that you're being she's being shaped and molded into becoming a premier of Limpopo, first the first woman premier of that province. And when that happens, <laughs> when this happens, yeah. some say, Well, we don't think she'll be likely to make it as premier. Do you think it will cost her in any way? You know, conferences, when you get out of a conference, you get out of that conference being bruised and all these kind of things. Mm. Yeah, But it's just a matter of time, you know, because what we are going to do living out, uh, from here, uh, out of the agreement that we had with regional leaders, we are going to visit all the regions individually, visit a region and explain what happened in this conference. The f difficult situation the difficult conditions that we found ourselves within when we were in, 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 in this conference. So we are, we are going to do that. And ultimately, um, I, I think the, our regions, our, our, our members will understand. You had been bidding Limpopo farewell for months on end. We expected to see you ascend to become the chairperson. You are not the chairperson. Are you going to be elected into the NEC? Is your time in Limpopo still up as it stands? No, no, I'm not going to stand as an additional member of the NEC. Uh, I mean, because it will be academic for me. Uh, as a provincial chairperson, I'm automatically a member of the NEC. Uh, so, 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 I, it's neither here nor there. So you I, stay I in Limpopo? In yes, NEC. I'll, I'll stay in Limpopo. Um, remember, in any event, I was always on my, my, my exit. Uh, when, when after I had finished two terms, I wanted to retire, yes. and comrades, comrades pressurized me. In fact, persuaded me, not pressured, persuaded me to stand, and I, I, I did. Even this, had I got in as uh, for uh, for the chairperson of the national chairperson, I was not going to go beyond five years because I want, I really want to retire. I joined <laughs> politics as a teenager, remember? Yes. I've never had life out of politics. I want to get my life also you before I die. You go to the cows. Yeah, uh, thank you yeah. so much. <laughs> That's Ten Matabata, yeah. ANC chairperson in Limpopo. Do you buy his story? But a lot of things were play. <laughs> and he's not necessarily in trouble. I'm hearing the calls. I'm seeing him trending. Yeah. And people are saying, hey, the emperor's naked. The emperor must go back home and go nowhere else. <laughs> but only time will tell. Thank you for tuning in. We will be coming to you with more updates throughout the day. This is the last day of the ANC conference. They will elect an 80-member NEC. And you'll hear from the president of the party as he closes this conference.